What's going on guys? It is your boy Angry Easy Gamer. Today I'm back here on my main account and today's focus is not going to be on Poe. Although we are going to still do a hero versus hero with him. Um, but I just want to inform you guys that I have... Let me just show you over here. The collab pool. I have 17 draws. I will get another one because I've already drawn um, 11. And apparently every 20 that you draw, you get a guaranteed post. So I have 17 draws waiting there. So that's going to happen. Now, today's focus is going to be the other new hero, which is um, Flutter Frost. So we're going to buy. I have enough funds in my IDG account to buy three. So we can double evolve. So let's go ahead and grab three of these packets. Right there. And then we need to go and double evolve. Build and double evolve. Collect all. So that's what we got. Delete. I've got all these red packets sitting there, which I cannot use. Such a shame. Um, now, before we open up the hero, let's just go through and get all the other things done. So we have this to claim. Right here. Nice. Um, not necessary to get more to get down there. So that's fine with me. I'm just going to keep it the way it is. And then we can claim this one. Uh, 22,500 rhinestone spent in two days. Okay, now let's claim that. And I think there are some other events that we can get into. I've got 55 of these. I've got 591. Okay, now I've got a lot. Um, they might bring out Poe or Flutter Frost with the next um, higher thing. So hopefully I'll get more. Uh, when that happens for the other events uh let's see i just want to see if i got anything more uh, it's just 17 uh isn't flutter frost in here as well uh no she's not in here okay and just po uh, what else do we have? Shopping spree. We have shopping spree. What can we buy? In shopping spree without points. I might have to go for this because I don't have enough. Yeah, let's uh, buy this. Um, because we need to double evolve her. I've got 1,300. I've got... Um, oh, damn. Adeptness. I won't be able to do Adeptness. That's 240. Okay. This is going to be a bit of a problem because I'm out of resources. So, let's just have a look. Okay. How many gems do I have now? I think just over 800. 820,000. Um, let me just go in here. Okay. I've opened up everything that can give me Adeptness. So, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, where else can I get a Depthness books? I don't know. Can I buy a Depthness? I might be. No. I don't know. I don't know. Floating Isle, maybe? Because I do have quite a lot of powders. Well, not a lot. 4,300 powders. Uh, we can't get a Depthness book straight up. So. Yeah, that's not going to happen. We can't get a deadness. Um, okay, well, that's no problem. We're just going to build a new hero and see uh, what she gives us. We have Board Game Bash. There's some adeptness books that can be found over here. So, okay. Land on adeptness. One, two, three, four. Roller four, please. Thank you very much. That's 150. I'll take that. Now, roll 12. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, no, don't roll 12 now. Okay, that's fine. Now, get me the adeptness. 7, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. Come on, give me another 4. Ah, man, okay. Not going to get the adeptness. That's fine. Nope. Can we get adeptness from here? No, we cannot. Creation machine, we might get adeptness. Yeah, we can get 230 adeptness from this. So come on, give me. Come on. Pow, pow. 
Come on. One time. There we go. Uh, do it again. Come on, back to back. No? Nothing. Okay. Spend rhinestones and win daily quickie trades. This I did yesterday. Uh, so I spend how much on trades? 17,815. That's all I spend. I just want to see if there's depthness in here somewhere. Because we're going to spend some more. No. Nothing. Okay. We are going to spend more gems. Um, on trades. Physical prizes. No. 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 Nothing here. Okay. That's that done. 380 adeptness. I now have 508. Not good enough. Um, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Uh, now, let's go and open up the hero. This is just going to be a build video. Just opening up and testing it out once. Double evolving and those types of things. Okay. Um, now, into the warehouse. Nope. Wrong button. Uh, all the way down to the bottom. And earn skill. Just use all of this. Um, and then level up. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead uh, until she's double evolved. Done. Okay. Oh, no, 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 stop. Okay, let's do the igniting as well and see how far we can get. Um, I'll skip ahead. And that's where we stop. Okay, so that's basically done. I mean, that is so close to being done. We'll figure that out now. Inscribe. Auto. Uh, that's where it stops. 69. Damn it. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. I don't even know what we're going to build it with. Um... No idea. Can't build a full on that one. Um, we can awaken this. She's going to go all the way up to uh, skill 15, which is fine. Perfect, actually. And then we'll read the skill and decide what we are going to do. That's that done. I don't have more of that. Uh, she is skill 15, so let's see. Deals 1,500% attack damage to the closest enemy target and 5 enemy units near that target. Ignores damage limits of targets. Increasing enemy target damage received by 150% for 5 seconds. During this 5 seconds, accuracy of 6 allied heroes is greatly increased. And 25% of these heroes damage is converted to piercing damage. That's crazy. So her together with Poe is going to deal an immense amount of piercing damage. Cooldown 7 seconds. Hero becomes immune to inhibit silence and has 15% sturdy effect. Um, before we do anything, I just want to test her out. So let's remove Poe. Put her in. I want to see in dungeon, ordinary dungeon over here, I want to see a movement. Uh, there we go. Oh, she flies. Okay. No idea. She flew. Okay, so you couldn't see a skill activation there. Let's go a bit higher up. Uh, Expert Dungeon 4. I've never opened up these things yet. Expert Dungeon for this one over here. Here we will we'll see the skill activation. Uh, one shots the boss. Okay, that's fine. Now uh, the skill, let's see. Oh, she's a sniper. Damn. She took out all those heroes. Okay, this is a bit easy for her. Let's go to Expert Dungeon. Uh, no, Insane Dungeon 4.9. That's where we have that big boss. He does have 80 million HP. So let's see. And move outward. Skill activation. She took out all those people in the middle. 
actually losing cooldown now. There it goes again. That's quite a nice effect there. I like it. And skill activation. Boom. She hits heroes, which is good. She doesn't hit troops. And then I want to see her expert dungeon 10. Uh, expert dungeon 810. Because she's immune to stun, so this would be good. Oh, but she can be comatose. Okay, so that's a thing. There she goes. I can't see her dealing massive amounts of damage. Not in all the chaos happening here right now. Oh, she does. Okay. She has quite big hits though. Because that Multanica, that big Multanica has 2 million HP. Skill activation? Okay. Well, she can be comatose. Not be stunned, but comatose. Okay. Uh, now, we're not done yet with her. We need to unlock the equipment. Obtain. Now, um, I do want to do a hero versus hero video with her. Uh, I just need you guys to tell me what you think is the best um, option. Build-wise, she deals a lot of damage. We don't know how much damage yet because uh we'll see that when we um go up against other heroes let's see if we can get a double five star i'm thinking accuracy that's what i'm thinking okay very nice so let's give her the accuracy uh, because she does deal a lot of damage um that's why I feel accuracy is the way to go. Um, that's a papa moment, by the way. Um, then for the equipment um, change, let's. Oh, my beard's itchy. Let's change this. Uh, lethal blow. Let's use that. It's the first five we got, so I'm happy with that. Uh, over here, change, quick change. I don't really care uh, what we get. Uh, okay, not that bad. Also, not that bad. Um, number bulwark. Bulwark's fine. Replace. Bulwark's actually good. Use. Let's level that up. I don't know if I have the skin. We'll see now. I'm just going to take that all the way to 10. And for the insignia over here, I think survival. Survival is a good option. Do I not have any 10 survivals? There we go. And for the adeptness. I don't know. Let's do that. There we go. Okay, so that's this hero done. Not completely, but sort of. Um, let's put her in a random battle. A random raid. She's gonna die. That is for sure. But she's not one shot. But she is one shot. Okay, fine. Uh, let's... I'm just testing out, right? This is not the final build. Okay, that's a Dre Drake. That's a train tower. Okay, let's put it down here. Uh, this guy is clearly set up for um, other things. Okay, let's see what happens when she gets a skill activation. Oh, she hit Axe Punisher, which didn't take any damage. She hits him again. Took some damage. That's so weird. Okay, she took him out. One shot him. But this is going to take forever, man. As you can see, she's not hitting troops. Which is perfectly fine. Okay, so we have a Sarah down here. That's good. Sword Sage. Demon Stalker. Not the best uh, setup going on here. Let's see what happens. Michael, not Sword Sage Michael. So. Okay, here we'll be able to see what she hits, who she hits, 
and how much damage she deals while doing that hit. She did gain some HP back. She's not getting a skill activation, and she's dead. Okay. Um, so far, I'm, my hopes is not up with this hero. But okay, fair enough. She's not built properly, but we will. Uh, leave your comments. What do you think is the best build for her? And we'll do that. And uh, the video after this one is going to be getting Poe in with the top 10 heroes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>